video we are going to see about the exam pattern and the syllabus of scientist B recruitment or examination that is going to happen from NIE LIT. Okay. So there is a recruitment happening for scientist B and scientific assistant. So in this video we will be discussing about the exam pattern and the syllabus of scientist B. Another video will be uploaded very soon in, in which we will be discussing the, uh, the pattern and the syllabus of scientific assistant. Okay. So we are going to see what is the exam pattern and what is the syllabus. This is just the syllabus and we detail topic video that is which all topics you have to prepare, what are the important topics from the uh, syllabus you have to prepare that will be uploaded as a separate video. Okay. So we are going to see what is the exam pattern first. So the exam is an OMR based examination. It will be having multiple choice questions and there is totally 120 questions out there. And out of this 120 questions, there will be questions from the generic area. Generic area means you have to prepare from current affairs, general awareness, reasoning, intelligence, quantity, quantity aptitude, English subject, all those things. Okay. So that is included in the generic area. And also there will be questions from your technical subject. So this recruitment is actually for computer science branch, IT, that is information technology, and also for the electronics branches. Okay. So for the technical area, you can expect questions from your respective branch. Okay. Now, uh, the weightage given for the generic area and the technical area is like this. For the generic area, it is given 35% of weightage. So, totally 120 questions is there. So, 35% means there will be 42 questions coming from the aptitude, reasoning, intelligence, all those area. Okay. Then, the remaining 78 questions is from your technical subject that is whichever branch you are belonging to that is IT or computer science or electronics from your respective subject you will be asking questions that is the questions will be asked and there will be 78 questions okay so that is the weightage given so more weightage or more importance is given to the technical subject okay 78 questions from technical subject and 42 questions from the general or the generic area and the marking scheme is like this for Every correct answer that you are giving, you will be getting one mark, that is 120 questions, total mark is 120 mark itself and also there is negative marking, minus 0.25 mark will be detected, that is minus 0.25 mark is given for the wrong answers or 0.25 mark is detected for the wrong answers that you are giving. Okay. Also they have given the cutoff mark for the various categories, for this OMR based examination, you should be getting 50% of mark to clear this or to pass this examination if you are belonging to the general category. But if you belong to the economically weaker sessions, you are requiring 40% of mark. For the SEST and the persons with disabilities, the cutoff percentage is 35%. So they have given clearly in the notification regarding the cutoff percentage also. Okay. So that is the exam pattern, marking scheme and the cutoff percentage for the examination. Okay. Next, we are going to see the syllabus for computer science branch, IT, that is information technology and also for electronics branches. Next, we are going to see the syllabus for the scientist B recruitment of NIE LIT. We will be seeing which all subjects you have to prepare and then afterwards we will be seeing about the detailed topics from each and every subject, which all the detailed topics you have to prepare for the electronics branch, I will be doing as a separate video. Okay. So, first for the computer science branch you have to study engineering mathematics and from the engineering mathematics you have to study these all areas mathematical logic probability set theory graph theory permutation and combination linear algebra numerical methods and calculus so these all are the areas you have to cover from engineering mathematics and from these all areas which all topics you have to prepare also they have given in the notification okay so i'll be sharing the notification and description box you can see the detailed syllabus in that uh, notification. Okay. Next is for the computer science branch itself. The subjects you have to prepare are computer science engineering, digital logic, computer organization and architecture. These are actually subjects, not topics. These are subjects given. In this subject, which all topics you have to prepare, they also have mentioned in the notification. Okay. Then analog and digital communication, programming and data structures, operating systems, then compiler design, computer networks, algorithms, etc. So these are the subjects you have to study from your, from your branch. So this is the syllabus for computer science branch. Okay, next is for the IT branch. You have to study engineering maths, 
and from the engineering max you have to cover mathematical logic probability set theory graph theory permutation and combination linear algebra numerical methods and calculus so this maths engineering maths is actually common for all the three branches computer science it and for electronics for the three branches the engineering maths uh, topics are actually common okay next is the respective branch subjects so for the it branch or the information technology branch you have to study these all subjects digital logic object oriented programming computer programming data structures algorithms design and analysis of algorithms dbms that is database management system operating systems computer organization and architecture computer networks software engineering so these are the subjects from your respective branch you have to prepare so not entire subject you have to prepare the respective topics there is uh, which all topics from these subjects you have to prepare they have mentioned okay so that's all about the syllabus of it or information technology next is the syllabus for electronics branch electronics and communication engineering electronics and telecommunication electronics and instrumentation all these branches are actually eligible okay and also i want to tell you that the last date is 31st of december so if you have not yet applied please do see the uh, description box the link for application is also given okay so next we are going to see the syllabus of electronics branch first is engineering maths from engineering maths again the syllabus is actually same mathematical logic probability set theory graph theory permutation and combination linear algebra numerical methods and calculus so this engineering maths syllabus is actually same for all the three branches computer science it and for electronics now for the electronics branch the subjects from this branch you have to study are electronic devices analog circuits digital circuits signals and systems communication that is both analog and digital communication control systems electromagnetics computer organization and architecture microprocessor and microcontroller and networks okay so if you are going to write the scientific uh, sorry scientist as uh, scientist b exam for electronics branch so you have to study this all subjects okay so we'll be doing a separate video for the topics it is important topics from these subject that you have to cover if you are going to write the scientist exam for electronics okay so that i'll be doing as a separate video so this is all about the syllabus so a lot of people has actually applied but a lot of people are yet to apply so please do see the notification if you think that you are eligible please do apply for it as soon as possible okay and this is the syllabus and the exam pattern and the marking scheme so i'm really hoping that you found this video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up please do share it with your friends who is going to write the exam for this scientist exam uh, scientist recruitment and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching